Police are looking for tips this evening to catch the person seen on this surveillance video pulling a gun on a Burger King worker from the drive-thru. I would have never thought that I'd be at work taking somebody order and somebody would want to pull a gun out on me. So this happened in Willowick Easter morning. And despite the video evidence of this, officers haven't been able to locate the man or the vehicle he was driving. The worker who had that gun pointed at him told me that the customer was upset over his bill being cheaper than he thought it should be. Could you believe it had escalated to that point? No, not at all. Tim Vernon was working the morning shift. The guy was ordering um, two sausage, egg, and cheese croissants. This past Sunday at the Burger King on Vine Street in Willowick. And a sausage biscuit and a um, hash brown deal. When things took a dramatic turn, when he says the customer had a problem with the bill. He thought that he should have been paying more money, which his order was came up to like $8. Next thing Tim saw was the man pulling up next to another customer in the drive-thru. So, I mean, he got very close to her and that window. Mm -hmm. Tim sharing with me surveillance footage of the terrifying moments. So when he jumped out the car, cocked the gun, pointed at me. He's just saying, I should kill you. And he just kept saying that. Have you ever seen this guy before? No. It's just really crazy that somebody could do that. I'm thankful that he didn't pull the trigger. You're a father, right? You have children. For sure, definitely. Did some of that go through your mind? For sure, of course. The man up here pointing a gun at my employee. Another Burger King employee called 911. What, is, what kind of car are they in? They, they pulling off now. What I'm kind of car? What kind of car was that? He, he's gone, it was a Honda, a great Honda. Willowick police tell me they've been searching for the vehicle using their cameras and cameras from neighboring cities with no luck. Unfortunately, the cameras only appear to catch the front of the vehicle at the Burger King drive through and the state got rid of the front plate law a couple years ago, so no front plate and we don't have a identity. Lieutenant Keith Lawrence told me the suspect faces a possible aggravated menacing with a firearm charge. Which could carry prison time. The lieutenant says investigators are looking into claims that the suspect used a racial slur, which could also escalate the charges. So I cocked the gun and pointed and everything. Meantime, Tim just wants anyone with information to call police. He's a thug. He needs to get caught. To prove a lesson. He needs to be in jail. That the customer isn't always right. To get that man over some food, some fast food, something wrong. Something has to be wrong with you. Mm. Tim no longer works at Burger King. The company told me in a statement, quote, we were horrified to hear of the guest action. The safety of Burger King team members is our top priority, unquote. They added that the necessary support is being offered to impacted team members.